Hi, this is uh, Mohammed Ahmed in a new video related to uh, a new device, a scissor like ESD knife called SP Knife. It has been used in the United States now for more than one year and it had uh, this small lesion and actually it is sessile serrated adenoma. It was removed before and um, it came back there as you can see here that the front part of the lesion was removed by snare and then scarred and the back part of the lesion once we inject it you can see that most of it was hidden behind the lesion um, so i would just go with you through how i used it and you can tell me if you think it is a nice device to consider for chronic uh, esd so as we can see here, we're injecting the lesion, the scar in the front part of the lesion, and it looks like there is no residual polyp where the scar is. Uh, I was worried if I snare it, it would be much harder uh, to remove that front part because although it is raising, once you put the snare, you will not be able uh, to have good amount of tissue. If you notice, I use that knife for marking, which is a blast that you can use a knife for marking. You can also use it to do the initial incision. The way it works that this knife, because it's like scissors, it has two jaw and you open them if you want to make the initial cut. And then while you're clothing them, you can uh, press the endo cut current. Because it has a large surface area, uh, you will need to adjust your uh, uh, sitting in your um, uh, generator device uh, because you may need a different set of energy. The one that would use uh, you'll use for a small knife such as dual or IT knife would be different than that one. You can also use it for coagulating blood vessel using the tip of the knife. So it is multi-use and it's similar to what surgeon would do in the OR. So right now we are doing the front part which is the tough part because it has the scar and once we finish the um, front part of the lesion now we're going to the side and um, the back part and the knife is working very well and dissecting the colonic mucosa around that area. Um, the nice thing about that knife is that you can really determine where you want to cut and you can cut it as you see here. So initially you will hold or grasp the tissue that you would like to deal with and you can also rotate it in the direction you would like to use and then gradually dissect. So um, we finished dissecting uh, both sides of the lesion and we're doing incision with slight submucosal uh, dissection in the same time and we'll try to now go to the back side of the lesion gradually and um, as you can see the knife working very nice but um, because of the high energy volume we're using you can notice that the lesion is shrinking more so it doesn't provide uh, that very nice and elegant response you would find from the uh, dual knife but it is much faster like that procedure was going very quick like in almost 15 minutes we're uh, able to remove that lesion uh, little bit by little bit we got to the center of the lesion and in the submucosa and the colon you don't have enough space so what will happen gradually that you will lose your left and I found that that knife is particularly helpful in that situation because you can um, go under the lesion hold the submucosal tissue and dissect while you're aiming up as you can see away from the muscle layer so basically you grasp the submucosa or whatever left from the submucosa and push the lesion uh, away from the muscle layer uh, we can see here that we didn't even have any uh, superficial injury of the muscle everything looked good uh, the only thing I didn't like is that I didn't have my accurate dissection plane and looking at the plane, seeing the muscle under me and the mucosa uh, above. It's a different way of dissecting. It's almost like a surgical dissection. Definitely it will have a role in certain situation, maybe um, in tough location when you cannot get so close to the region. As you can see here, we're working from pretty far away and we're still able um, to perform uh, the dissection. The other thing is that I really had to play a little bit with the generator uh, to get the optimal setting that would work uh, for this knife. And um, in lesion that would have large blood supplies, it may be important um, to use coagulation more often. Uh, as we can see here, we had a nice uh, clean bed. I will leave it up to you uh, to decide whether uh, you would use this knife in the future or not. Thank you.